Hey guys, Marissa at KitchenTableStamper.com. Today I've got a fun fold card featuring a really cool new stamp set. It's a standalone stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Vintage Tools. I couldn't resist. It's the punny sentiments. You're plain awesome. Build in some time for yourself. Strong, solid, dependable. You're all that and more. It's your day. Well, we're going to make this fun fold card today. It's a binder fold. It's a simple, simple little twist on your standard fold card. Let's get started because we have got some stamping to do. I'm going to start with some scraps of smoky slate and soft suede. I've already done a couple of our little tools, the ones that duplicate from the outside to the inside. Let's go ahead and make the rest of the tools. We're gonna stamp with Early Espresso, really simply, on these two colors, and we're gonna piece the tools together. So I'm gonna start here with all of my brown tools. Let's see, we're gonna need a handle here for the file. And we need a blade for the file. And then we need some pliers and our wood planer. I love this one. This is what got me on this set is the you're plain awesome and the wood planer. Just too cute. I love all things punny and just can't help myself. We're gonna need the handle for the planer, so we'll get that on soft suede. And I'm just stamping, we're gonna do a couple of hammers. I've already cut one out. A couple of screwdrivers. Let's see here. We only need the handle for the hammer here, so let's grab some grid paper. And then we can just stamp on any scrap. And then we need the hammer head and the little screwdriver we'd be doing two of those for this design also look at that little guy and then for the handle all right i think we've got all of our bits stamped and we're going to give them a minute to dry the early espresso especially for me i don't know if it's for you too but early espresso is a real slow to dry ink so we're gonna leave it there and just let it dry for a minute. While that ink is drying, I've got a basic white circle. This one was cut using the new Stylish Shapes dies. It's the largest one. Now I've got my die chart here with all the sizes cut, but I haven't labeled the sizes yet. We're using the biggest one. And that's for inside the card. So we're gonna stamp, build in some time for yourself and the nails. To start my nails kind of up and to the left here and then just bring them along like they're falling across the circle and then we're gonna do a similar for the outside of the card I've got a Sahara sand rectangle here this one was cut with the stitched rectangles dies and it's one of the longer ones. I call this one F. I kind of did A through M and they go almost in size order here. I call this one F. It's like about 3 and 11 16 by 1 and 11 16. That'll help you identify which rectangle I used from that set. I hope the die chart helps. All right, we're going to add your plain awesome to this cutout for the greening on the outside of the card, but we wanna leave some room for those little nails again. Just love these guys as a background. And we'll go from the upper left here, kind of across like we did for the inside greeting. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. All right, now we'll give our greetings a minute to dry while we do some cutting. Now I'm gonna do all of these the same way, but I thought it would be really good for me to start with the planer and show you what I'm gonna do because that one looks tricky, right? With the inside cutouts and the two-tone, but it really isn't because we're going to um, cover up 
the handle on our smoky slate version we can go ahead and cut out the handle first in soft suede and we're going to cut out the details leaving just a little hair of space and cut just what would be kind of that wooden handle now we don't need any of the rest of this we can just cut off and then trim that's how we'll get the inside on this layer by just cutting it apart and cutting it in two we want to get the details when we get to any place where the details meet up in brown to the details in gray we cut right on the line that's just how you paper piece and then we'll glue that one back over now we're going to do the same kind of cut out here we're cutting along the line where the two meet and then around with a small hair of a border for the pieces that border the air you know all right so there's our two brown pieces now hold on and we're going to just cut these two apart let me show you how i did the gray all right so we do not need the gray where we just cut the soft suede so the handles so we can just cut right up along here cut this off now we can cut in and around this part that would be silver so again this part that is an outside border we're going to go just a little bit outside of the line and go around and cut now when we get to the part that's brown again we don't need this we just need a place where we can put some glue so just cut away and leave a place where you can put a dab of glue around and then across the bottom now the part where it looks real tricky to get the inside cut out to make it really look dimensional we're just going to cut straight through the handle we're going to cut out this open space just leaving that tiny hair of gray like we did around any other part that was out an outer line and now we have that fancy cut out center but we didn't have to do any fancy cutting right because now we'll take our bits that we cut out here's our handle our little brown knob and let's go ahead with some liquid glue and adhere those pieces so you left a little bit for glue a little knob and we'll take this whole handle where we cut add a little glue and now just adhere the suede piece over and nobody knows that you cut straight through the handle to get that little piece cut out of the inside isn't that cool there's our little planer now we're going to do the rest of our tools just the same way so for our little screwdriver for instance we're going to cut along the screwdriver just outside of the line when we get to the part that's going to be brown all we need is enough of that piece to be a glue tab then cut back along the outside line of the gray now for the handle we're going to take the little brown handle we'll cut right on the line there where the two pieces are going to meet and then cut around just a hair outside the line a little bit of glue on the glue tab that we left adhere the brown there it is <laughs> we have the most adorable little two-tone screwdriver hammer we're gonna do the other tools just the same way and I'll meet you right back here all right we're almost done here with our very last piece 
cutting, I'm going to just adhere my hammer head to the handle with a little dab of glue. You'll notice I did not cut out that whole hammer head on the soft suede one. You just need enough to glue. Don't cut it out twice, it's not necessary. Same with the file. We'll just streak a little bit of glue down the handle. We didn't cut it out, we just cut a rough glue tab. And there are our tools, a whole toolbox of tools. I put a little dimensionals on one of my hammers. I'm using the black Stampin' Dimensionals for this. Um, the ones on the outside, I'm gonna do Stampin' Dimensionals. The ones on the inside, I'm going to do flat. But you'll notice I did a little overlap here. So I'm gonna put those guys together and just with a dab of glue. So cute. I am very much in love with these tools. Let's put them aside for just a minute though, and let's build this cool binder fold card base. So my tools can slide to the side, and we're gonna bring in some cardstock. I've got Early Espresso here, and it is 11 by four and a quarter. It's a standard hot dog card base but we're gonna add an extra score line and an extra fold for a little extra fun. Got my Simply Score tool here. We're gonna score at four and a quarter and five and a half. And we'll work those with the bone folder. Just fold your card in half and then fold back on the four and a quarter score line. Can add a little bead of glue here because we're going to bind this with some twine. My designer series paper is from the He's All That Sweet. I've got a couple of the early espresso designs and four by four. And then I've got a piece that is one by four. Let's go ahead and glue those one inside and two to the outside. So I'm gonna put a four by four here and four by four on the outside. These of course are my two favorite patterns in the whole pack and they're back to back. Stampin' Up! always gets me like that. Puts the, my two favorites back to back. I feel like I got half the paper. It's hard to put glue on the pretty side when both sides are the pretty side. All right, there's our designer series paper. Looking pretty good, isn't it? Now we might as well go ahead and pop our circle greeting to the inside. I prepared from that same die set that stylish shapes this um, chicken lips banner. It's the long wide one. I'm gonna add that to the inside of the card too. Bring a little bit of the outside paper to the inside. We'll line that up low and to the right. And then add our greeting circle over it. Make sure everything's nice and level. Our sentiment runs level. This is our chance. That's why I love liquid glue. My eyes are on crooked. So if I can have a little second chance to straighten it out after I step back for a second, I love that. All right, that's inside. And then outside we have that you're plain awesome, but I also cut from scraps of basic white cardstock, these Ticket Edge dies. They are so awesome. They're from the sports events dies that are available while supplies last at half price, mind you. Um, really an awesome set of dies. It's tickets, it's kind of got a sports theme with pennants. I don't, we're not the biggest sports fans around here, so it wasn't the sports that appealed to me. It was just these fun shapes, these edges, these ticket shapes and pennants. They'll be so useful outside of the wide world of sports too. I'm gonna glue that fun edge to the top of the panel and to the bottom of the panel, just lining it up. And then once you've got your decorative edge situated, then you can Add that to the front of the card, a little liquid glue. It's gonna go low and to the right also. Looks fantastic. Now, our little hammer that had the dimensionals, we can 
go ahead and pop that on right now. Let's get our sample back in here too, so we can do the rest of our tools. And then the planer and wrench, they're gonna get some dimensionals. I love mini dimensionals. I'm using the black ones. The black mini dimensionals um, have this nice wide edge here. We're gonna use that edge for our pliers. We can do a long skinny piece and then just cut off strips that we can put right along the back here. So it makes it pretty easy, even on the smallest details. All right, everybody's sticky. Let's add our planer and pliers. And inside we're gonna do liquid glue. We've got three more little tools here. So cute, don't you think? Don't cover your greeting. Now let's bind. And for the binding, I like to use my grid paper so that I know it's gonna be lined up as straight as I can get it. My eyes are on crooked. So I need the grid paper for a little extra help. I'm using the bold lines kind of as a centering ruler going to take a marker and mark five eighths of an inch as center and then about half an inch down and just mark and then same thing here about five eighths of an inch center and about half an inch up it's very uh, it's not perfection but it's much better than me eyeballing it me eyeballing it is definitely too far in on one side, too far out on the other side, and not in line with each other. I have got the hardest time with center and lining things up, so grid paper is my best friend. I'm gonna use some linen thread for the binding. I went in and asked Max, this is my husband's Father's Day card, and after I did it, I went in and asked him, I said, I tied a bow of, of twine for, for a man card, is that okay? He goes, what are you talking about, twine? I said, this one, the one that I use all the time. And I showed him the bow. He's like, yeah, that's fine. I said, well, as long as you approve. <laughs> so this is his Father's Day card. I'm going to tie a knot here so that I can keep the tension. And then a bow. I guess the, the twine was acceptable for him. I don't think he would have liked a big ribbon bow but twine was all right. If you don't wanna do the twine, go ahead and put some brads in those holes or add a couple of um, colored staples. You can do so many different things with this binder fold. We did this one live today and there's just so many great things you can do. You can blanket stitch the edge. You can put a, a little clip at the top with a little ribbon flag or a designer series paper flag just really cute way to spice up kind of a standard card. All right, there it is. If you guys have any questions at all, you can email marissa at kitchentablestamper.com and to shop Stampin' Up 24 seven, buzz over to marissaalvarez.stampinup.net and click shop. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.